quantum sensors allow us to understand the world around us at an unprecedented level of detail. So, what's the real difference between a classical sensor and a quantum sensor? Both can measure different properties of the environment, light, temperature, pressure, heat, and more. But quantum sensors harness the laws of quantum mechanics to measure things that are imperceptible to more traditional sensors. And because quantum sensors depend on constants of nature, their reliability never degrades. In other words, these sensors are self-calibrating and their measurements don't drift off over time like traditional sensors do. Unlike some other pieces of quantum technology, quantum sensors have been around for decades. For example, MRI machines use quantum sensors and have been around since the 1970s. Inside one of these machines, the very atoms in your body are turned into individual quantum sensors. MRIs use magnetic fields to manipulate a quantum property called spin within your body's atoms. And the response of those spins to the magnetic fields can be measured and transformed into an image. Atomic clocks are another kind of quantum sensor and have been around since the 1950s. They keep time in GPS satellites and even define the official SI unit of a second. But things have changed since then. Modern innovations are making new quantum sensors and applications possible. One of these newer technologies makes use of nitrogen vacancy centers, or NV centers, which can be found or fabricated within diamonds. Pure diamond consists of a perfect lattice of carbon atoms. If two of those adjacent carbons are removed and one is replaced with a nitrogen atom, then the nitrogen together with the hole or vacant spot function as an incredibly sensitive magnetometer. That magnetometer uses electron spin to detect tiny changes in magnetic fields. In fact, NV centers are sensitive enough to detect changes that are 50 million times smaller than the strength of Earth's magnetic field. And even more impressive is that they can accurately detect those tiny changes despite the presence of the Earth's magnetic field in the background. But what does that really mean? Well, to put it in the context of a camera lens, that'd be like having a single lens that would let you stand in one place and zoom out wide enough to capture all of Mount Everest in a single image, and also zoom in close enough to clearly see a single human hair at the top of the mountain. That kind of sensitivity can be used in medical devices to help diagnose disease earlier, and it can be used to navigate by sensing the Earth's magnetic field while flying in an airplane, driving a car or ship, and even while underwater and underground. And these same quantum sensors can be used to measure the tiniest magnetic fields within living cells, which can accelerate drug discovery. NV centers are just one example of this new generation of quantum sensors. Others are in various stages of development and can be used to detect minute changes in properties like acceleration, rotation, pressure, electric fields, temperature, and even gravity. There are many applications of this next generation of quantum sensors with creative engineers regularly developing new ways to use them. So what does this mean for you? Whether you're an engineer interested in quantum, a product developer looking for a better sensor, a user of high technology, or a student looking for inspiration for what to study next, you'll want to be sure to keep an eye out on the future of quantum sensing.